Our opening hymn can be found in the Source and Summit Missal number 257, Lift High the Cross. We should glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, life and resurrection, through whom we are saved and you to please be seated. Father, these holy oils have been blessed and consecrated by the Archbishop at the Chrism Mass, and now we present them to you to be used in celebrating the sacraments, the oil of the sick. May the sick who are anointed with this oil Experience the compassion of Christ and his saving life in body and soul. The oil of the catechumen. Through the anointing with this oil, May all catechumens who are preparing to receive the saving waters of baptism be strengthened by Christ to resist the power of Satan and reject evil in all its forms. Sacred Chrism. Through the anointing with this perfumed chrism, may children and adults who are baptized, confirmed, and presbyters who are ordained experience the gracious gift of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of His Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Tonight we begin the holiest days of our faith, the sac sacred truth. It's the longest liturgy because our liturgy does not end tonight, but it stops 
picks up tomorrow, and then picks up again on Saturday, and finally ends on Saturday with the Easter Vigil. Tonight we come here to celebrate the Lord's Supper, Christ breaking his body and blood for us, Jesus washing the disciples' feet out of love. As we come to celebrate in these days this great gift of God's love, we seek the Lord's mercy. This month stands at the head of her calendar, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The blessing cup is her communion with the blood of Christ, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You provide us with food for the journey, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of the will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your glory, glory, for God, heavenly King, for God. O oh God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice, knew for all eternity the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from this great mystery the fullness of charity in life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a one-year-old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood 
and apply it to two doorposts and the lentil of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass you uh, over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be, memorial, be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Lord Jesus. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own who were in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper, took off his outer, outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into his a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with a the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over, so that you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, he put his garments back on, reclined again at table. He said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so. For indeed I, for, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. They came to gather to share a meal. A meal that would have seemed both ordinary and extraordinary at the same time. A meal that was meant to remember something extraordinary. Their ancestors being freed from slavery. A meal, meal where a lamb was sacrificed. The blood was applied to the two doorposts and the lintel. The blood protected them from the destructive blow. And this meal freed them from slavery. A meal that remembered something extraordinary. A meal that they were called to remember every year. A meal I wonder if over time the meal became something ordinary. 
because it was something that he did every year. Or if it me a meal that they took for granted. It happens in our world today where we remember things that are extraordinary over and over, where we can take them for granted. I wonder if it happened then. Tonight we come here to remember that time they came together to celebrate and share that meal where their ancestors remembered their being set from slavery. And it's in our remembering they're sharing that meal. We remember also our being set free from our slavery and our sin. For it was at this extraordinary meal that Jesus did something even more extraordinary. He took common bread and common wine and he made them into his body and blood, giving them to them and to us, giving us food for our journey, Christ's body and blood sustains us for our journey. Christ's body and blood sets us free. Christ's body and blood molds and forms and changes our lives. Christ giving himself for us. We remember this event. But tonight and at as any time that we gather for Mass, We not only remember, but it happens. Not again, but it happens as if we are there. We are at the Last Supper. I in the person, I in person of Christi, I in the person of Christ. Jesus Christ gives his body and blood not for the X number of times. But tonight it happens as the first and the only time. Tonight we celebrate the gift of the Eucharist. As we celebrate the gift of the Eucharist in a special way, we also remember the anniversary and the founding of the Eucharist, or the priesthood as well. Tonight we celebrate the anniversary of the priesthood of Christ giving to the apostles and passed down through the centuries the gift to the priests and bishops to offer the sacrifice of the Mass. Tonight, in some ways, we also celebrate the beginning of many of the sacraments throughout the year. In our opening procession tonight, we brought forth the holy oils. The holy oils that are to be used in the celebrating of the sacraments throughout the year. The oil of the catechumen to be used for those preparing for baptism. The oil of the infirmed, for those nearing the end of earthly life, for those preparing for surgeries and various other health ailments, both physical and spiritual, and this oil is a sign of healing from our God. And sacred chrism, that perfumed oil, that oil that has a perfumed smell that we do so hard to forget, used for the celebration of baptism and confirmation, for ordination and consecrating altars. Tonight we celebrate the gift of our sacraments. Tonight we celebrate the anniversary and the gift of the priesthood to give us Christ's body and blood. But we also get another image of the priesthood tonight as well. 
the image of the priest called to serve. In our scriptures tonight, we hear of Jesus taking off his garments and washing the disciples' feet. Jesus, the master and the teacher, and washing the disciples' feet was the one that served. There are many times that you see and experience Father Angelo, Father Ken, myself, and other priests serve you. And imagine on some days our serving you may make you feel a little uncomfortable makes you probably feel a little uncomfortable in the same way that it made Peter feel uncomfortable to have Jesus wash his feet. But I'd like to thank you for allowing us to serve you, allowing us to serve you as your priest. It's an honor to serve you. I've been waiting for three years to do, get to do this again. For in a few minutes, I'm going to take my vestments off again and wash feet. You may say it's not necessary. Some may, th- may say it's uncomfortable. Some might feel uncomfortable that their feet might stink a little bit. But that's okay. It's okay to feel a little uncomfortable. I think it's a necessary reminder for us and for myself that in my call to priesthood, I'm called to be the servant. When I was in the seminary for a holy week, I'd often come home and go to St. Charles to serve the liturgies with our retired priests and brothers. And one year I remember Father Vince Hoying was the celebrant for the Mass of the Lord's Supper, and at the time he was somewhere in his mid to upper 80s. And he wanted to wash feet that night. Now, he was not able to wash 12 feet. I think he could do about four or six. But another challenge for Father Vince that night was because of his age, he had trouble to get up and down off the floor to wash feet. So I had the honor and the privilege to be that armrest for him to go up and down to wash the feet. It was a humbling experience, I think, for the both of us. It meant a lot to him to be able to still, at his age, to still wash feet on Holy Thursday. The day after, he thanked me for helping him get up and down off the floor. And he told me about Good Friday of prostrating on the floor and I understand that was another story. (laughs) But he's seen the value in sharing God's love and washing the feet. As Jesus washed the disciples' feet as a gift of love, as a gift of service, May we look to that example of love and service and use that love and service for each other as well. This time we're going to have the uh, washing of the feet. Um, you can keep seated. Um, for those who have been selected to have their feet washed, I invite you to come forward.
I have found my delight, these I have loved. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, as I have loved you. Say, 
please rise. Before we approach the table of plenty, we are fed with the food of eternal life. We bring forward our needs and the needs of all who hunger for God's presence. For the church, may Christ's true presence among us strengthen us in service to one another. We pray to the Lord. For elected leaders, may Christ's service to his church be a model for their service to their people. We pray to the Lord. For those suffering from doubt, may their faith be strengthened through the gift of the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, may God grant us the wisdom to serve through faithful listening. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they soon behold the true presence of the Lord in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord for Milton Sproul, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for all the special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, your only Son gave us a model to follow, so we place the service of others at the center of our lives. Help us to follow his example as you listen to the prayer, our prayers we make to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in the offertory chant found on page 277 in the Source and Summit Missal.
my sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the past and pattern of everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. As we drink the blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Psalm 2 Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, that you accept and bless these gifts, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you personally for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard her night, to govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, and all those holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer the sacrifice of praise, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope and health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake, and especially those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and martyrs, 
Peter, Paul, and Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and all prayers, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, who, therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you as we observe the day on which the Lord Jesus Christ hated the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate for our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and come on the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless the knowledge and prove this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was about to suffer, for our salvation and for the salvation of all that is today, he took bread in his holy and invenerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his merciful Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and invenerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension of the heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty for the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance. Accept them as once your pleas, accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice of spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask, Almighty God, command that these gifts be poured by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us through this participation at the altar Receive your most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Bless also your servants who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Amid us we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, for whom you continue to make all things good, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, 
bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation. But deliver us from evil. Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace of leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the south of the Lamb.
Our communion hymn can be found in the ritual song hymnal number 1043, In Memory of You.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your only Son in the present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. After Jesus shared the Last Supper with his disciples, he journeyed with them, they journeyed to the garden where Jesus prayed with his disciples. We now make that journey with the Lord and we journey with the Lord to pray. And I invite you to stay in church and pray as long as you want. I invite you to please kneel. Please join in hymn number 387, Sing My Tongue the Savior's Glory. Sing my tongue the 